What's up guys, I'm Flanco Leche, and today we're gonna to be doing a quick video review of this device right here. This is the Nitro Deck from a company called CRKD, or I believe it's pronounced Cracked. So what is the Nitro Deck? Well, it's something we've seen before. It is a docking station for your Nintendo Switch to pretty much make it a dedicated handheld. And we've seen other companies attempt to solve Nintendo's hardware ergonomics of the Nintendo Switch paired up with the Joy-Cons, but this is probably one of the better implementations of it that I've seen thus far. So I personally never heard of this company crack before, but a couple of weeks ago they went on a crazy marketing push. In fact, that's how I discovered this thing. Uh, I actually saw an ad on IGN.com. They did an ad spot and they showed off how it worked and how it functioned. And it seemed like a nice seamless integration. And uh, I really do love my Nintendo Switch, but I struggled to play it in the handheld mode based on the ergonomics of the Joy-Con. So, Looking at it, it seemed like a slick implementation and I immediately ran to the website and placed my pre-order for it and it arrived at my doorstep a couple of days ago and I've been playing with it ever since. So the Nitro Deck retails for around $60 USD and it comes in about three different colorways, but they also do have three other colors in their quote unquote collector's edition that may or may not be around for much longer. And those retail for around $90, but they do come with the carrying case. But pro tip, if you're interested in just getting a black one like myself, uh, you can just purchase a separate case, which is what I did for around $30 and it's gonna come to the same price tag. Anyway, uh, so I ended up going with the black Nitro Deck because I do like all my you know, devices to be black. That's just kind of my thing. And uh, that's what I have here and I think it looks pretty slick. But let's get into the Nitro Deck and how it functions itself. So as I mentioned before, it is just a docking station so you can take your Nintendo Switch. I do have my OLED model here, but it does also work with the OG Switch as well. And you can slide it right in here. And as you can see, there's a USB port. If my camera can pick up on that. The USB-C port that just kind of slides in. And once you do that, it clicks and it's a nice solid connection. Now, I will mention that as you guys can see, it does not pop out at all and it's nice and snug and it almost feels like this is one solid device. It's really nice and solid and I like that quite a bit. So first things first, let's talk about the feel of the Nitro Deck and I will say it feels really good in the hand. It doesn't look very good in the hands. It looks really cheap. It does pick up a little bit of grease and uh, overall I'm not super impressed with the look of it. Maybe some of the other colorways look higher quality but the actual feel of it is really good. And as I mentioned, I do have larger hands and as you can see, hopefully if the camera can pick it up, I get a nice good grip on it and uh, uh, I also talk about the buttons, the ABXY buttons. They feel nice and clicky. It's almost like, um, they feel almost tactile if you're used to maybe brown switches on a keyboard. You feel the little bump and it feels really good. The analog sticks feel good. They are Hall Effect, so they aren't gonna run into any of that stick drift, and that's one of the problems that people have with their Joy-Cons quite often. So it does solve that problem. I'm not a huge fan of this directional pad or the positioning of the right analog stick. It definitely doesn't feel super good in the hands. You generally, will, I'll generally end up using it with the like nub of my thumb here. And when it comes to this one, you just kind of got to make a claw to get to it. So I'm not in love with the positioning of this, but luckily most of the games I play do only require the analog stick and the ABXY buttons. Uh, the rest of the buttons still also do feel good. The minus and plus button, they feel pretty good and they're in a good position. And then this button here serves as your home button as well as a programmable button, which we'll talk about in a little bit later. And this is how you're gonna take your screenshots. That button works here. We also do have the triggers. And once again, I'm not a huge fan of these triggers. They sound kind of cheap. I'm not sure if the microphone can pick up on it. And they actually feel kind of cheap as well. The ZL and RL are a lot better. They seem like uh, they are analog and not digital, so you do have the probably the ability to uh, you know increase speed or anything like that in any of the games. But these feel alright. But definitely the the L and R triggers or bumpers they don't feel good at all. Turning our attention to the back of the Nitro Deck, you are going to have a couple of other buttons here. Now these are like bumpers similar to what you're going to see on the Steam Deck. Uh, these are programmable, which is pretty cool. I believe I saw in another video, if you hold down the crack button, you can actually put in, uh, assign one of these to a macro. So say you have a special combo in the fighting game or something like that, and you feel like cheating or whatever it is, you can assign any one of those macros or combos to these buttons in the back. Uh, in the back here, you're also going to have a nice kickstand, which is much stronger. It's probably similar to the OLED one, but it's a nice strong kickstand and you could probably sit here and 
and play with your Joy-Con if you really care to it or Pro Controller or whatever. But it does work really well. Uh, you're also going to notice you have two USB ports here in the back, one for input and one for output. The input is to charge your, your, um, st your Nintendo Switch, and then the output is for something that's really stupid, but it does work. You can actually hook this up to a computer or uh, you can hook it up to your docking station and use the, de the Nitro Deck by itself as a controller for your Nintendo Switch. So if you're playing Smash and maybe uh, your short one controller, I guess it works, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's a nice plus to know that you have the ability of doing that if you needed to. And the final thing in the back is there is a switch here, and this is actually how you're gonna release <laughs> switch, no pun intended, but this is how you're gonna release your Nintendo Switch from the back here, so if you hit this, in the back, that's how it releases. And uh, like I said, it's a really solid connection overall, um, but that is how you would take your Nintendo Switch out if you ever wanted to. And as far as any minor details, I mean, in case anyone's wondering, you do have sort of these two cutouts here to send sound from the bottom of your Nintendo Switch and fire them forward. And you are still gonna have access to all of the buttons at the top of your Nintendo Switch. So, you know, again, your power button, your volume rockers, this is your ventilation chamber, or, you know, to vent out any of the hot air, your headphones, uh, jack and you are still gonna have access to your uh, You know your your cartridge port if you decide to have any games installed here So it isn't gonna hinder you from doing any of those functions in this particular docking station Oh, and you do have the ability to swap out the stick so far I've only been able to get the left one off, but I believe you can do it with this one I just haven't been successful and I don't really care to try too hard and break it But you do have the ability of swapping out the uh, the thumbsticks but that's really it. There's not too much to it. I mean, I really do like it. I think it's definitely worth the $60. Uh, I would love to see maybe a better finish on here just to maybe at least make it look a little bit more premium. But again, it might just be this black colorway. I haven't seen anyone else complain about the quality. Uh, but it definitely does feel really good in the hands uh, and definitely, you know, is very reminiscent of the GOAT of handhelds, uh, the Steam Deck. I mean, Steam Deck is still superior when it comes to ergonomics and so far it's still my favorite go-to choice. But of course, if I'm going to be playing any Nintendo IP and I really want to pick up a Nintendo Switch handheld, this is definitely going to be a great choice. And I highly recommend it if you're in the market for a device like this. But yeah, that's about it for me in this video. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Also, while you guys are down there, if you like this video, hit the like button. And if it's your first time to the channel, consider subscribing. Once again, guys, I'm Franco Leche. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you guys in my next one.